good afternoon to everyone this class about the uh, role of physical biological mechanical and chemical factors of grain loss right we are going to see the grain loss factors right what are the factors involved in grain loss in storage as well as the uh, good own or any other stores right okay before enter the to be topic we have to discuss some uh, story related to grain that is grain journey right you have to know the grain journey right in india right in india food grain passes through the average of 15 stoppages or you can say 15 points stopping points between between the farmers and the customers right what are they sir right the grains are travels from harvesting field and next is going for sweeping and heaping and next one is transport to home or any store right and transport to trade mills right or you can say mandis trader mandis right they are transported to trader mandis and heaping of trader mandis there will be cleaning process right and there will be grading and drying right in mandi and there will be the process of stitching and bagging right stitching and bagging and next one is transport to the storage bodies right good ones or stores it may be anything stand transport to storage bodies and next process is de bagging and go for dumping right de bagging or dumping and next one is pre bagging and go for transportation to mills or market transport to mills or market and next process is sale to floor mills right and finally it will reach to consumers right as a Pro, milled product or floor product all right here um this is the 15 points right this is 15 stoppages between farmers and consumers which enlarge the scope of quantity and quality losses in grains or you can say stored items right in us or uh, the the most popular developed country like uh, united states the grains journey consists of only only five stoppages or five points right this is what a major problem facing in indian farmers uh, regard storage right it may be by the mold growth on our grains or condensation of water vapor and respiration of uh, your grains right and damage by rodents or birds and wetting from air or our major things like insect or there may be the chance to germinate right these are the some few points uh, the losses of grains in storage uh, bodies or storage time right let's start from physical factors if we take temperature or heat this is caused from uh, heat by the external source like sun due to unsuitable storage structure or it will be in false location or there may be insufficient shed right or poor ventilation facilities or lack of heat insulation or regulation and metabolic heat produced due to of mass reproduction of storage pests right and fungi right there will be mass pro production in both pest and the diseases inside the storage goodons and high moisture content of grain and metabolic heat produced by grain itself right it is denoted in cubic centimeter in dry grains or dump grains it will vary and lack of aeration right these are the uh, factors involved in physical like a temperature factor right and what will be the effect sir by this temperature right this temperature factor right there may be losses in weight and losses in quality quality means nutritional value or germination power 
and improved condition for uh, patient development right? and content session with the subsequent development of fungi and losses in germination and vigor it's if it is moisture right or you can say relative humidity these are uh, reason or causes may be insufficient drying before storage right or you can say high grain moisture right that will lead a losses of grain uh, by, uh, by attracting of pestant disease okay and construction fault and damage due to damage to the store uh, that may be unsuitable material and sealed floor walls and roof holes like gaps etc right and imbalance in temperature and day and night in storage facilities with subsequent condensation right by water water body sorry air right air converted to water and road is stored on floor or next to wall right and mass production of pest right if there is a high moisture content definitely the pest will prefer that particular moisture lot moisture affected lot and what may be the effect right the same effect uh, like a temperature there will be losses of quality and quantitative development of fungi and the micro it will produce mycotoxin and attract the pest right and that may be the heavy chance right for swelling and germination of seeds right because high moisture content leads to germinate the seed and what may be the biological factors right if it is insect pest right first it may be from cross infestation right from neighboring lots or you can say the local grocery uh, stores right and migration from waste or rubbish or dustbins and uh, hiding places in store like cra cracked surfaces or fissures uh, holes anything etc right use of infested bags right and introduction of infested lots from outside and what will be the effect definitely there will be no losses in weight and quality right how sir here the impurity such as dropping insect dropping like litters and cocoons and past part of the insect or any part of the insect uh, and reduction of nutrition value and reduction is germination variability right and increase the temperature under moisture okay increase the temperature due to the moss production and moisture due to due to droppings and if it is microorganism right uh, here causes may be from high moisture content of stored product right <laughs> without drying and high relative humidity in store and condensation from air, air into water right and uh, humidity and moisture produced by insect and what if maybe uh, what are the effect if maybe the microorganism affect the grains right that definitely lost their weight by mold formation and losses of quality uh, quality means in the case of smell taste color nutrition value and germination power and definitely it will form a mycotoxin right further it increase the temperature and moisture and further condensation right it will leads to further condensation and what it may it may be the rodents right what are the effect it may be the rodents and causes may be from the penetration through badly closed doors windows ventilation openings and holes and lack of barriers right and barriers and lack of hygienic hygiene in store and surrounding area here possible there may be a possible breeding and hiding places inside the hygienic area okay but what will be the effect definitely there will be the loss of quantity right and quality by produce with the fecal matter and the urines of rat and contamination of produce with the pathogenic agents like uh, uh, typhoid uh, rabies hepatitis plague etc there are a number of diseases associated with the rat okay and damage of materials and facilities that may be bags doors electric cables etc 
and what about birds mostly causes may be from the open or broken doors windows ventilation opening and roofs right effect definitely there will be heavy loss in weight and damage to bags and contamination right contamination of stored produce with dropping and and its uh, feathers uh, or pathogenic agents and stone is mechanical factor the mechanical damage and poor storage facilities causes by the in the incorrect harvesting methods right or poor handling threshing shelling cleaning sorting drying okay and uh, bad transportation and loading practices by example is with hook right with a hook uh, there may be there will be a loading practices followed in local villages and effective storage facilities and no temperature insulation or regulation no moisture proofing and no rat and bird proofing right and these are the high uh, causes right involved in mechanical factor what will be the damage definitely there will be the uh, weight loss right and also qualitative loss like a nutrition value and germination power and uh, there will be increased uh, chance to infestation from uh, pest and disease or rodents and finally what will be the chemical factor here chemical changes right uh, induced by or accelerated by high temperature high moisture or development of microorganism and its mycotoxin or pesticide usage of pesticide in both the field and uh, uh, storage in goodons the spraying of pesticide there may be that may be probiotic treatment to avoid the insect population or in insect growth and development after storage right uh, but uh, we are using some safe contact insecticide uh, as a probiotic measure in storage goodons right that will also change uh, chemical uh, values inside the grains and fumigation as a curative treatment that will affect definitely affect the grain chemical structure right what may be the effect and degradation of nutrients and losses in weight in both uh, qualitative and quantitative uh, also affect germination power and nutrition value definitely nutrition value will change by the chemical uh, factors and increase the chance to infest infestation occur from pest disease rodent and finally there will be pesticide residue in our consumable producers like grains or seeds to know the uh, factors involved in uh, grain losses right okay here i end my presentation thank you very much thank you all if you have any doubts please ask me in our whatsapp group thank you very much